land-based barbecue. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, it's Brian Rogers with Fool's Gold Plant-Based Barbecue, and today we're gonna do the recipe that started it all, smoked jackfruit. Now, a lot of people that have started to hear about vegan barbecue or plant-based barbecue or whatever, one of the first ways they're introduced to it and they kind of get a bad taste in their mouth a lot, is jackfruit. A lot of people have heard of it. A lot of people say it's a good replacement for pulled pork. It's different than pulled pork, but it makes an incredible um, way to do some real smoked barbecue. The problem is most people do it wrong. In fact, 99% of people that do smoked jackfruit do it completely wrong. I do restaurant consulting all over the world. Uh, on helping restaurants implement plant-based barbecue on their menus. And the first thing they usually want to do is jackfruit. And if you go look online on Google places, everybody's doing jackfruit wrong. I'm going to show you the exact way to do world-class jackfruit today on this show. It's going to be a little longer than normal, but bear with me because I want you to learn exactly the technique for using jackfruit. Because once you learn this, you'll be able to do this for all your friends. It's absolutely amazing. And... I promise you, you'll like smoked jackfruit this way. So the first thing is jackfruit selection. A lot of people think they have to use fresh jackfruit. You can kind of see what a fresh jackfruit looks like on my shirt, actually. It's a huge fruit. In fact, it's the largest fruit in the world that hangs from a tree. You've seen them in the store. They're thorny and they're, they're green and they're huge. Again, they look just like this, this on my shirt here. That's not what you want to do. If you want to try it, go for it. You'll spend all day trying to cut up a jackfruit, I promise you. Very difficult. Um, it's also not... Uh, quite the texture that we're looking for. So your next options after that are canned jackfruit. Yes, canned jackfruit, or my favorite, which is in a bag. It comes just like this. In fact, it looks like it looks like pulled pork in the bag, okay? So number one, I always prefer using jackfruit in a bag. I use Upton's. You can go on Amazon and find this, or I think we can, you can find it on our website. This is really the only kind I use. It, don't buy any of the jackfruit that has sauce in it or anything else added. It should just be just plain jackfruit in its own juices or water. That's it. And if you look at this, it's only 25 calories per serving. And more importantly, only 15 grams of sodium. That's why I recommend in the bag. And I'll show you how to, how to actually do this in a minute. If you can't find it in the bag, the next best, best thing is jackfruit in, um, in brine. So there's jackfruit in brine and there's also jackfruit in water. Surprisingly, most jackfruit in water is actually higher in sodium than jackfruit in brine. Doesn't really make any sense. It's one of the only things with canned um, vegetables and things where you'll actually find the water is usually higher in sodium with jackfruit than brine. I don't know why that is. That's just the case. But even with jackfruit and brine, you can find this at Asian stores. A lot of grocery stores are starting to carry it now. It's totally fine to use this. But just note that just in this uh, per serving in a can of jackfruit in brine is 300 milligrams of sodium as opposed to 15 milligrams. Big difference. So I recommend you get it in the bag if you can. And that's what we're going to use today. So what you want to do, and the other nice thing about the bag is it kind of comes already mushed up a little bit. So what I like to do is once I get the bag, it's already sealed. So what I like to do is I like to... Um, I like to just really mash down on the jackfruit like this and start to get some of the seeds separating from it. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can kind of see the seeds starting to separate a little bit uh, on it. And I'll show you again here in a minute. So again, kind of mush down on that like so. And then once you're done with that, you can do that. It's kind of like kneading dough. You can do that for a good like three minutes or so. Okay, and notice it looks really, really mushy. Okay, that most people would just take the jackfruit and they're going to pour it, some barbecue sauce in it, throw it in a pan and cook it or in a crock pot and cook it. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Yeah, you may like it, but I promise you, you haven't had jackfruit done the right way. You got to treat jackfruit kind of like you treat tofu. If you see my tofu video, you got to get all the moisture out of it. If you don't, it's going to be mushy, disgusting. It's not going to be good. That's how most people do jackfruit. So once you get it, have done that kind of kneaded it for about like three minutes. We're going to take some uh, scissors, some kitchen shears, and we're going to cut this open. Again, if you're using the can, it's still the same process. You take it out of the can, you'd mush it up. We're going to take this mixture and we're going to throw it in our colander. 
All right, pour that in our colander like so. And then uh, I'm gonna, I just put a little bit of water on it, not much. I'm gonna mix that up. Again, I'm gonna push down on my colander. That's why I love these kind of colanders. I'm gonna kind of push down on it and get some of the, uh, some of the moisture out. Notice that some of the seeds are popping out of it, these round things. They kind of look like this. We'll see if Ken can actually um, zoom in on these seeds here. Ken, can you, can you zoom in on those? See how they're kind of round? Um, you can take those out of it. They're perfectly edible. I'll just eat one right now. Perfectly edible. They just look a little funny. So if you're going for like a pulled pork look, you might want to take those out. Otherwise, you can gather them all up and you can chop them up and put them back in. Or you can just take them out and throw them away. Whatever you prefer. So we're going to put it in there. Now this next step, this next step that we're going to do is the absolute key to doing world-class smoked jackfruit. You probably won't see hardly anybody else in the world do this. Um, I don't claim to have invented plant-based barbecue because Kansas City barbecue restaurants, a lot of hole-in-the-wall restaurants have been serving jackfruit as, a, or, uh, as sweet potatoes as a main dish for years. But in 1999, I entered this a huge barbecue contest. And as you know, I've won all kinds of awards in the barbecue world. But I entered a, contest, a, a barbecue competition in 1999, and one of the categories was the wild card category, where it was kind of a metaphor for like wild game. A lot of people were entering all kinds of wild dishes outside of like ribs and pork and chicken. And I entered a pulled jackfruit dish and I won the entire, I won the grand championship of that particular competition, but I also won first place with the smoked jackfruit, the same recipe I'm gonna show you today in that, uh, in that competition in the entire category. So, um, Again, I don't claim to have invented plant-based barbecue, but I've been doing it since 1999 um, with this dish. So here's the key to good jackfruit. You can do this with um, a towel, but I recommend you do it with cheesecloth. You can buy this at the store, um, and it's what you use to make like mozzarella cheese with to get all the moisture out. So you want to take uh, this, and we're going to cut off a little bit of it. Again, this is the key to world-class jackfruit. I promise you, this is what you need to do with jackfruit. So you're gonna take your cheesecloth, just like this, and then it comes apart. So take it, and it actually comes apart like this. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna lay it out here on our cutting board. And then we're gonna take this mushy jackfruit that has a ton of uh, moisture in it, and we're gonna put it in the cheesecloth. Do not skip this step, guys. If you skip this step, you're not going to have good jackfruit. It's just going to be mediocre or mushy and nasty, okay? We don't want it to be mushy and nasty. We want you to be able to serve this to all your friends, plant-based, carnivore, whatever. So all you do with this now is you just get all the moisture out. So you wrap it up. If you've ever made like mozzarella cheese, this is the exact same way. I'm going to wrap this into a bowl. And I want you to see this, guys. I want you to see what most people are cooking jackfruit with. All right, I'm gonna just put a plate out here, put a bowl. You can already see it dripping. Watch this, guys. This is what most people are cooking their jackfruit with. All right, amazing amount of moisture. You wouldn't even know there's that much moisture in jackfruit, but there's a lot, guys. You have to get all, as much as the moisture as you can out of this. So you just keep working it. You, you kind of get some moisture out of it, and then it gives you a little room, and then you use it, and you just start twisting it. If you've, again, if you've ever made like mozzarella cheese, this is the same process. So that's why they call it cheesecloth. Okay. And then once you're done, you can put it back in the colander. And it's a lot different thing. It's going to make like kind of this dough ball looking thing, which is exactly what you want. If you've ever had like, uh, like where you're making bread, it's kind of the same idea. But I just want to show you what comes out of jackfruit. That's just really nasty, guys. Look at that. Nothing wrong with it, but it's just, that's the reason why nobody can cook good jackfruit, all right? So we're gonna throw that out. Rinse that out real quick. And then what you're left with, guys, is this big dough ball of jackfruit. So we're gonna take this dough ball here and Look at the consistency. I mean, it looks like pulled pork at this point, guys. So you wanna just kind of mash it out a little bit. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on for this part. Cause I'm really gonna get my hands dirty with this. So I'm gonna grab some, some gloves. You don't have to use gloves if you're just doing it for your own family. Just make sure you're washing your hands all the time. Um, and if you're, if you're cooking for a large group, obviously that you don't know, you wanna use gloves. But today we're just cooking for us, the family, and to make this video for y'all. So we're gonna put our gloves on real quick. And the first thing you wanna do is look for any more of those seeds that I was talking to you about earlier if you don't want the seeds in it. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna grab out a couple seeds. I'm gonna throw the seeds out of it, they're the round looking things in it. So as you can see, like that, the, the seeds, I'm just gonna throw some of those out. You don't have to get all of them out, but, um, and then you wanna just pull it a little bit like this, just like you would pulled pork, and now we're ready to go. So this recipe, we're gonna use um, a tablespoon of jackfruit rub, Fool's Gold jackfruit rub, we're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna use a tablespoon of our demerara sugar, throw that in there. And again, I use these recyclable restaurant pans. We're gonna use a fourth of a teaspoon of smoked hickory salt, we're gonna throw that in there. And then guys, this is very important. If you, go, if you decide to go plant-based like I did, I lost 120 pounds and I reversed six life-threatening diseases in just six months when I decided to change from my old style of barbecue to plant-based barbecue. But I get the same question over and over and over again. Brian, okay, what are you gonna do for protein? Get that question all the time because you can only get protein from animals, right? And that's actually not true. Um, although jackfruit itself doesn't have any protein, things like the Tofu has protein, soy curls, if you've seen our video on soy curls, those all have proteins, but it's true. When you do things like mushrooms, there's a little bit of protein in sweet potatoes, but not really much. But when you do things like jackfruit or mushrooms or other vegetables or anything that, uh, salads, anything that doesn't have a protein source, what we do is we use uh, either hemp seeds or chia seeds. And if you don't know anything about hemp seeds, you should look into this. I put, about a, I put about a tablespoon of hemp seeds in my jackfruit rub. I also put, put it when I do smoked mushrooms and things like that if I wanna add protein. Also sprinkle it into my salad dressings. I'll put it in sauces. Anytime you wanna add protein to any dish, you can simply add hemp seeds. You can also add chia seeds. But I use the ground up kind, so you ground them up. You don't even know they're in there, but it, it is a protein punch. In fact, hemp seeds are one of the highest density uh, per serving um, whole proteins that you can get in the entire world. So very easy to get protein. So we're gonna throw a tablespoon of hemp seeds into our rub there. And then as usual, time to get your hands dirty. We're gonna rub this down really good. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Give this a really good rub. And once we're done with this, it's into the smoker. I like to smoke my jackfruit for about an hour and a half to two hours, um, but you may like to do less, you may like to do more. Um, I kind of like to get a little bit of a char on it, so I go a little bit longer. And that's really all there is to it. So we got that rubbed really good. And that's ready to go into the smoker. So I'm gonna run to the smoker, I'm gonna put this in and we'll be back and I'll show you how to finish it. Okay, we're back from the smoker and we have our smoked jackfruit. That's exactly how you want it to look, guys. I mean, look at that consistency. It's got a nice char on it. Um, it's got a nice, uh, good consistency. It's got a great texture. I mean, this looks very, very similar to how all my pulled pork looks. And notice there's no moisture in it. It's very nice and there's some steam coming out of it. Very nice and, and dry. This will stay in your refrigerator for... Um, for four days or so. But that's exactly how you want it to look, guys. That smells so amazing. Now I'm gonna show you how to finish this uh, off. You can use jackfruit for so many things. We use it in our Heartland salad sometimes. We do like jackfruit salad sandwiches. We use it on pizza, we use it in burritos, we use it for in breakfast with like our tofu um, uh, crumbles. We use it in tacos. I mean, we use jackfruit in so many things. I'll throw it in my baked beans sometimes. It's so good. Or you can just put some coleslaw on it and eat it as a, eat it as a, a sandwich. Now, a lot of people ask Brian, is jackfruit, does jack, a pulled jackfruit sandwich taste the same as a pulled pork sandwich? All right, 
Great questions. Everybody's always asking me that question. In addition to how do you get your protein, the next question is, does it taste the same? Does jackfruit, pulled jackfruit or pulled tempeh or whatever, does it taste like pulled pork? And so my question always back to them is, no, it doesn't taste the same. It's different. Is it good? It's just as good. I love it. It's way healthier for you. It's got a lot more health benefits for you, but it's not the same. It's like I always ask back, does your, um, does your chicken, your pulled chicken, taste like your sausage? It doesn't. They're two separate dishes, right? Same way with jackfruit. Jackfruit's its own ingredient. It's not pulled pork. It's not pulled chicken. It's not rib meat. It's none of that. It's jackfruit, smoked jackfruit. So you don't ever want to try to like fool your friends and stuff, especially if they're not plant-based or vegan or whatever. You want to tell them what they're eating. You want to educate them on it. And I found out even my carnivore friends that only eat meat, they absolutely love my food, but they love knowing what they're eating. They, they look at it as it's something different. It's a little healthier, um, but it's not the same. And it's really important for you to understand that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off for you real quick. Um, just like we were going to put it on the table and eat. So what you want to do is there's several ways to finish it off. You can put it in a, like an air fryer if you'd like. It makes for um, a, a great finish. But I like to finish it off with a little Fool's Gold barbecue sauce in a hot pan. So we're going to go ahead and get our hot pan going here. And then um, we're going to take some Fool's Gold barbecue sauce. And by the way, we're getting ready to come out with Fool's Gold peach barbecue sauce. So we're going to take some of our jackfruit and we're going to throw it right in the saute pan here. I'm going to make it up for about two sandwiches or three sandwiches. And then I'll have leftovers. All right, so we're going to throw that in our saute pan there. Again, look at all these leftovers. Again, this will stay in your refrigerator. I'll make jackfruit salad sandwiches of that uh, in the next few days. So I'm going to throw that out of the way. And then I'm going to put it in a hot pan. There's your jackfruit. Then we're going to put just a little bit of sauce on it. Um, you don't have to put, whoops, you don't have to put sauce on your jackfruit, but I like to put just a little bit on it um, just to kind of caramelize it and finish it off a little bit. So like about a tablespoon or two. And smell that out, just trying to caramelize it on the jackfruit there. So we're going to move that around. You can kind of see, I didn't get all the seeds out of it. There's kind of some round seeds. You can like break those up if you like at this point. You don't have to by any means. So we're gonna move that around a little bit. Yeah, we really cook on this show, guys. So just give that a few, few little spins there. And notice how it's starting to caramelize and that's exactly what we're looking for. That's all there is to it. And then we're gonna take that Get our plate. And my family likes to, once we finish it like this, we'll put out some buns, some lettuce, some coleslaw. Sometimes we'll put out some like um, some taco shells that we make and we'll put our meat right in the middle and we'll just have a amazing dinner. So I'm gonna just pour that jackfruit right on the plate. And there you go, y'all. That is smoked pulled jackfruit. Oops. Smoke pulled jackfruit, guys. And that's a dish. We'll see you on a future episode. Hit the subscribe button right now and subscribe to the Fool's Gold Plant-Based Barbecue Show. And I'll be seeing you soon on some future videos.